Hey everyone, Sean here. Welcome back to the Outdoor Tracks channel. And uh, for all you new subscribers out there, I just want to say thank you for subscribing. And I haven't posted anything in about, uh, it's been a little over nine weeks, I think. So if you remember back, um, I broke my wrist and that's all healed up now. Pretty much I'm still going through occupational therapy on it right now. So it's still kind of tight, but I can use it. Um, and then about two weeks ago, I had some dental work done, a lot of dental work and um, got some implants done and bone grafts and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm still healing up from that. Make me talk a little bit funny right now, so bear with me, but got a new smile. So um, anyhow, and then uh, just last week, I had this thing on my finger and I thought it was maybe a wart or a pimple in a weird place. And turns out it was what they call a mucus cyst. And so apparently your fluid from your joint um, the, the sac that holds that fluid in um, ruptures and then it, it causes uh, like a pimple. So I thought it was a pimple or um, maybe a wart or something. It turns out it wasn't. It was a mucus cyst and uh, there's three options you can do to fix it. You can either leave it alone. Um, they can do an injection type where they, they basically um, syringe it out, the, the fluid, and then they put a steroid in there or you can have it surgically removed. And I opted to have it surgically removed because it wasn't really hurting me, but at the same time, I kept bumping on things, even putting it in my pocket, and uh, it would just, that's when it hurt. So I had that removed. So I just went through a lot of surgeries, uh, a, lot of, a lot of medical issues over this last nine weeks, but I uh, got everything handled now, and my, uh, so my finger, is just bandaged up right now still um, so it's still healing up but doing a lot better so I just wanted to kind of throw out an update right now um, of what's going on so um, some things came up financially for me and that ended up having to sell my jet skis and I, I feel to me it felt to me like I lost a member of my family you know um, but Life goes on. Uh, I was able to pay off a bunch of uh, credit card debt and stuff that I had, and um, I just wanted to get that stuff out of the way because with the uh, reduced work I had and everything from me breaking my wrist, I, I couldn't do my job. So um, anyway, enough of that stuff, and I kind of want to go through what the plans are in the future. And um, so let's go back over here. So still got the Jeep. That is not going anywhere. Still got the Chevy and got the trailer out there. So the only thing I sold was the jet skis, and that's the only thing uh, I was able to get a pretty decent amount of money out of them. Still got all the bikes are right here. I uh, plan on getting those on those pretty soon and getting out and riding again. Um, haven't even got on them yet. You know, I've been kind of waiting for my wrist to heal up because I didn't want to do anything stupid and, and damage it. But um, it's my wrist is strong enough now where you know I can I can do get back on the bike anyway. Um, I'm just trying to be careful with it so I don't injure it again. So in place of the jet skis, I know this doesn't replace the jet skis, but this is kind of my project right now. And so let me turn on this other light over here real quick. All right, so eight foot pond prowler. And I got this because it's stable, number one. I was looking at getting a kayak or something to go fishing with. This will fit my trailer out there. My, tra my trailer is a 10 by 12, and uh, it will fit in there perfectly. So I'll put it in there once I get it all set up, and it will stay in there. I've had this little trolling motor here. It's an 86 pound thrust trolling motor, so it should do a pretty good job of propelling this boat, maybe three to five miles an hour. I don't know, I haven't got it out there yet, but um, bought the deep cycle battery for it. Uh, got all this from Bass Pro Shops. So, and I have another battery coming. It's just a, one of those little deep cycle ones, but I don't want to run out because I don't know how long that battery will last out there. So I just bought another little 12 volt just as a backup so I get back to shore or whatever if I'm stuck out in the middle of the river. Um, going to be doing some upgrades on this. So this is going to be my project. And I don't know if you guys want to follow along on this while I'm doing it, but um, I already ordered some parts. So I have a, a little tablet left over from the Jeep. I upgraded the one in here. And... So that is a new uh, Galaxy Tab 8 in here because the old one was slow. It's, a, it's an also a Tab 8, but it was like the first generation and it was really, it's really slow. But I'm going to use it on here. So I bought a RAM mount and um, this right here is power plug. Actually, what we have over here. 
So this is the power plug that goes in it and it plugs in just like that. So I'm gonna add 12 volt uh, outlets to this and I'm gonna put two of them here somewhere. And I was actually thinking about taking this out and just wiring from the backside and run, you know, running it so I have a clean install and buy the, out the outlets that have the USB. But that look at this, they riveted in these, these uh, you know, the, um, they're not screws, but they're, they're rivets. So they're riveted in. I could just drill them out easy enough and put screws in, but why mess with it? So what I'll do is I'll just run the power wires from here. And then, like I said, I'll mount the outlet here somewhere. I haven't decided where exactly yet, but I'll mount it here and then just run some wire loom over it, make it nice, you know, and attach it down so it's nice and sturdy. But the nice thing with doing that is I can get another one or two of those plugs and then I can power other devices too just by taking that plug out or plugging it in. So I don't know, that's kind of a work in progress right now, but I already ordered the parts for it. So that's the first thing I'm doing. And then I ordered RAM mount for the tablet. It's gonna go right about here. So sitting like right about here, I'll have the tablet kind of facing this way and listen to music on it. I have a waterproof Bluetooth speaker I'll take put on here. And then uh, back here, didn't really know that they even had a, like a, a power box for these. So there's a battery box um, that I ordered and basically this fits inside of it. And then it has USB outlets on it and it also has a 12 volt power outlet. And then it has a display on it to tell you how much your power, uh, how much voltage you have left in your battery. And so I'll use that um, back here and then I'll hook the, the trolling motor directly to it. Over there, it's already wired. That's where the wires go through for the front on that side over there. So I'm gonna use the little battery, uh, the little deep cycle battery that I got to power the other stuff. And that way, um, it should have enough power just to run an iPad, you know, the, the tablet. And if I wanna plug my phone in or whatever else in there, uh, that'll keep that stuff charged, but I'll still have enough power to get back to shore, hopefully. I don't think this, as long as I run it on low, it shouldn't use that much uh, voltage and amperage. So anyway, this is the project. I've um, got a few other things coming for it. I'm gonna put a canopy on this. I actually bought like this umbrella type that's actually gonna clamp right here to the seat and come up, but I just don't know how that's gonna, how that's gonna work out. So we'll see, that might just be fine, or I might just wanna do like a full canopy on it. I don't wanna get too crazy, it's just a little John boat, you know, but, um, Oh, I got rod holders coming that will clamp on to each side over here. And then I'm gonna go out and go fishing, start doing some fishing videos since my wrist is better now. And then the nice part about this though, where it kind of ties into the bike packing is I have all the bike packing gear from the bikes. So it's all sitting up there on top of the cabinet and all that stuff will fit nicely on here and I don't have to worry about weight too much. So I can bring extra, extra water or if I want to bring firewood or whatever, I can just put it on here. This handles uh, 500 and where you go, 515 pounds with uh, persons and gear. So there's no way with just myself and the gear I'll get anywhere near that. But I just want to make sure I distribute the weight evenly. So I like the design of this because it's not a V-hole. Um, it actually has. Um, the hole is, is split and so it's a lot more stable. I don't know what you call that design there, but uh, anyway, so you have more uh, surface area, I guess you call it, on each side to help distribute the weight when you're standing up in it. And uh, you know, I, I did some video or uh, watched some videos on this little boat. It's pretty sturdy, and uh, but so that's the plan. I'm going to take my bike packing gear, go to the river most likely, find a nice little spot to uh, fish and camp. And then when I get ready, you know, get ready to set up everything at night, I can just drag this up on shore. I don't have to worry about it floating away. And uh, that's kind of gonna be my next uh, step in adventures. So I'm pretty sad about, pretty sad, like I said, about the jet skis going away. But my reality with that actually was I used them two to three times a week, or I mean a year, two to three times a year. They were 2015s, um, excellent shape, but I only had 50 hours on them, so you can tell that I barely used them. And as much fun as they were, um, I don't know if you've ever been out there by yourself, but my kids don't really like the jet skis. My wife liked to go, but she rides slow, 
So for me, when I go by myself, um, sorry, um, when I go by myself, it was fun for an hour or two, and then it just got, got boring because I'm by myself or even riding with other people, you know. Um, I just kind of like this going with this little John boat because I can just go off by myself and go fishing and stuff, and I can take my camping gear with me. And that's something I, I probably could have done on the jet skis is take the camping gear, but um, this is uh, definitely more set up for that, more up my, my uh, you know, up, up my aisle, up my river, I guess. So th this is more suited for what I want to do as far as camping out on the river. Um, and that's the only thing I'll have to do is watch my range, how far I go. So what my plan is, is I'll start at, at uh, Willow Beach. I'll go upriver towards the dam, and so I'll go up there and find me a camping spot and camp, and then on the way back, if for some reason I run out of battery, then I'm heading downstream so I can just float back. That's the plan, so um, that's the update. I'm sorry I talked so much on this, but a lot has happened, and um, so uh, the next next weekend on Sunday, then I'll be taking, I'll be taking this guy out. And I'm probably going to take the kids out with me because they're pretty excited. Um, just something new, you know. They Like with the jet skis, I, they were excited when I first got them. And then they went out with me twice and never wanted to go back again. I don't understand why, but that's how it was. So I'm sure this is going to be the same way. I actually bought them a little paddle boat a long time ago, five or six years ago. And it was kind of the same thing. They used it a couple times and weren't interested in it anymore. So uh, anyhow... That is what's going on for right now, and like I said, I'll take this out and I'll shoot some video of it next Sunday. And then after that, I'm going to start getting back into the bike packing again, and because I really need to get back in shape. Um, it's been, like I said, 9 to 10 weeks, and uh, with me breaking my wrist, I couldn't really do anything real physical. And then um, with all the surgeries and everything, it's kind of kept me from exercising, so... Definitely need to get back on that exercise and uh, get myself back in shape, especially for bike packing, because it's pretty strenuous. All right, so anyway, that's the update. That's what's going on now. That's what I'm kind of looking forward to. Hopefully, you'll stay tuned. And I want to say thank you for all those uh, new subscribers I've had. I haven't even been posting for like the last nine weeks, so uh, everybody who has subscribed to me in the past, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart really thank you for sticking out and uh and staying subscribed and watching my videos and uh, i promise i'll bring more content here real soon okay so until then thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and take care bye bye